Most effects and adjustments in Wii Video are available in the pop-up that appears above clips in the timeline. To add a clip effect, click the FX icon from the pop-up. Clip effects, or filters, will appear in the new window. Hover over the options to see a preview of the effect with a sample photo. Effects can be applied to the selected clip, or all of the visual clips in the timeline. Click an effect to add it to the clip. Multiple effects can be selected at the same time. When done, click Apply. To change the opacity of a clip, select it and select the second option from the left in the pop-up above the clip. The opacity control line will display. Click and drag the white dots, called keyframes, down to decrease the opacity and up to increase. Changing the opacity of a visual clip that's stacked on top of another visual clip will create a superimposition effect. Keyframes can be used to add fading effects. To add a fade to the beginning and end of a clip, check the fade box in the opacity pop-up and adjust the timings as desired. Click the opacity line to create and adjust additional keyframes as desired. To delete a keyframe, double click it. To access more controls and settings, Click the Clip Editor button from the pop-up, which is the first icon on the left. The tabs available in the Clip Editor window will depend on the type of clip that's selected. In the Transform tab, settings such as Rotation and Scale can be adjusted. Use the Crop tab to cut out unwanted sides of the frame. Be aware that cropping may leave black bars on the sides when applied. If the selected clip has audio, the Volume tab can be used to adjust the volume level as well as add fades to the beginning and end. With the Animation tab, a zoom or movement effect can be added to the clip. Animation can be especially useful for making photos more dynamic. In the Color tab, picture settings such as brightness and contrast can be adjusted. The Color Keying tab is for green or blue screen effects. The background of a visual clip with a green or blue screen can be modified here. Use the Speed tab to change the speed of the clip, such as to slow it down or speed it up. When done in the Clip Editor, click Save Changes. The edits will be applied to the clip in the timeline. More information about Wii Video can be found in our other videos, as well as the PLU Knowledge Base. <laughs>